Hello my beautiful people. So today I am here with my eyebrow routine using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Palm. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment box below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. First you want to make sure that you brush anything. Like I always do my eyebrows before I apply my foundation or anything but today I was already out and about and I wanted to do somewhat something to my face um I kind of just cleaned off whatever I applied to my eyebrows probably this is probably the worst day to do an eyebrow tutorial because look how bushy they are and yeah there's a color change because I did have makeup on like I said earlier so we're just gonna brush them out with our spoolie And then we're going to start filling in. So the product, um, this brush that I'm using right now, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills number 12 um, eyebrow brush. And it just, it's very dirty. <laughs> but it's just the angled brush. It's so dense, which makes it perfect and easier for you to apply the pomade with, or the product that I use. And it has the spoolie, and the spoolie on this brush is everything. But you don't need this brush. Um... They have other options. They have a MAC eyebrow brush, which is very, very good as well. And they have like other less expensive ones like e.l.f. and stuff like that. And those work just as well too. Just make sure you have a spoolie to brush everything out. Um, and the product that I go in with is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. And I use the color Dark Brown. I absolutely love this product. Look how much of a dent it has. In it. <laughs> I use it almost every day. And I love it. I don't think I can ever go back to use anything else. This is probably the step that takes the longest when I'm doing my makeup because I take my time with my eyebrows. My eyebrows are, I'm kind of letting them grow out so they are kind of bushy. But it's okay, just try to ignore it. Um, what I do is I just dip my brush into it. Like I don't go hard, I just kind of flick my brush in there. Just so that I'm picking up some product. And if I feel like I got too much, I just tap some on the lid. What I do first is I outline my eyebrows. So I start about here. I don't go all the way in, but I start about there. And I just start flicking. So then I start filling in from like the middle to the tail first and then I start working my way to the front. So And it's okay if you mess up. It's okay to get out of the lines because we're going to go in and clean that up afterward. So And then in the front I just lightly flick upward kind of um, making it look like it's little hairs and if I feel like I have to fill it a little bit more in in the front I go back after and then I redo it after I'm done with both of my eyebrows so I'm going to do the same thing on this side so with our spoolie we're just going to comb it up whatever product is there we just flick it forward And then we comb out. We do the same to this one. And then we flick out. And this is just how I fill them in when I'm going for like a more natural eyebrow look. I know they're not obviously going to look natural. And like I've said before, my eyebrows are friends. They're not sisters. So they're not going to look exactly the same. And... When I want to do a more dramatic brow look, I go in a little heavier with the dip brow and just darken in the ends. If I see like a sparse area or something, I just darken it up. I'm going to take my LA Pro Concealer and I'm going to clean up underneath my eyebrow. That way it highlights at the same time. I love this concealer. If you guys can find, can't find this anywhere, try looking at like fashion stores in there. So I'm just going to squirt some on my little tray. Sometimes I like to use the brush that's on here already. 
and just use that to clean up my eyebrows. And if I don't use that brush, I usually use this one right here. And this is by BH Cosmetics. And yes, it's dirty. And it's just a dense brush. So it's going to help me clean up. And you're going to start underlining. You want to use a lighter color to clean up under your eyebrow. But if you don't want that highlight effect, then you can use your foundation or anything. Anything you already put on your face, like your BB cream or whatever. You want to use your foundation on top to clean up the top of your eyebrow. Because you don't want it to look too bright on top and then your eyebrows are just going to look unnatural. So I just clean it up like that. I'm going to do the same to the other eyebrow. Then when it comes to the middle, I like to clean it up just because I don't like when my eyebrows look like they're connected. So this is where I go in with my foundation. So I just use a little tad bit like that. And... With my foundation, I'm going to clean up the top. So then I'm going to take like this little buffer or like synthetic brush like a little one and I'm just gonna sweep it and blend out all that concealer that we just applied and that foundation as well okay and that's it and then um, you just if you want to go ahead and set your eyebrows you just use the eyebrow gel this one is just from Ulta it's a clear brow gel and then I just when I'm done with all my makeup I just go in and sweep that all in just to set the eyebrows. Oops. Good thing it's clear. But I just do this to set the eyebrows so so that nothing moves them or smudges them. So yeah, I'm going to finish the rest of my face and I will get back to you. Okay, so that was my routine. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and it was helpful for you um if like i said in the beginning if you guys have any questions leave them in the comment box and i'll get back to as soon as possible please excuse my hair and my makeup today i was not feeling like getting ready <laughs> um but i didn't feel like getting ready but i did my wing liner huh i was trying out an eyeliner which i will have coming a review coming soon for that um but i yeah that's how i do my eyebrows i hope that was helpful like i said and i will talk to you guys in my next one like i've said before i i want to do an advice series on my channel um and there's an email in the description box that you guys can email me to labellabarbie16 at gmail.com and um you guys can send letters in and I will respond with my advice. Um, it'll be completely anonymous if you want it to. If not, you can tell me to say your name in the video and I will. And um, I'm not an expert on anything, but I would love to help. And Or just whenever you feel like venting, feel free to write me a letter and I will respond to you as well. And it won't be on the advice channel if you don't want it to be. But whenever you guys just feel like talking to someone, write me a letter because I don't want you guys to feel like you're alone. There is someone out there who cares and I want to be that person for you guys because trust me, we've all been through it. Um, and I think that's about it. If you guys have any requests, leave them in the comment box and I will get those videos up for you. Um, like this video if it was interesting 
if it helped you um, with the questions that you had. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in my next one. Stay fab.